this outer monitor folder and print. So I want to monitor color folder and print and then move it to mono folder and print. I'll show you later with different settings. To do this, go into Options menu, Director Monitor Setup. Now I need to monitor this color folder. So I'm going to set the path to color. Um, activate monitoring. I want to set it to use this printer here. And it's that simple. I think I just want to manage it a little bit. So I want to only do one printer at a time. So I process only one file at a time. Set the threshold to one. And click. And then afterwards, I want to move it, in this case, to the mono folder. So move to direct after print, mono. And click. Add to list. So that one's set up, ready. Now I need to do the same with the mono folder. Mono. Uh, I don't want to move it afterwards, so I could move it off somewhere to an archive folder. Um, settings are the same. Threshold one. Click add to monitor list. So those are the two setups there. As you can scroll across, you can see move to direct after printed mono, and then it, it this should work fine. So save and close. Now I want to copy a file into a color folder. There we go. I should pick that up in a few seconds. So there you go. It's picked up the color, and then it's moved to mono and printed that one as well. So you've got two files in there. So the first one will be colour, second one will be black and white. Now to change the actual settings on the printer, what I want to do is go into printer setup, select the printer that you want to use, set the tray and everything that you want to use. Uh, properties, in this setup I've got a printing colour there. So that's okay, I want to save that. So save printer settings as. Colour. I'm going to stop monitor, keep still going. Now I want to um, change the setup and go into um, print grayscale. I can print it on a different tray if I want. Let's put it on my new field for now so you can see it working. And um, Save settings as mono. So that's all set now. So I'm going to direct your monitor setup. This line here, use PRS file. Click browse. So I want color on that one. So that's set now. Yes. And then I'm going to set mono on that one. If I right mouse, I can update it so I can see it all set. <clears throat> the colour and mono there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to print this file again. <clears throat> Change the file name. I want to set up save and exit. So it should Move it to the colour folder. Just one second. There we go. You can see it's actually got a line there called set, which is setting the setting. Now, if we go into these prints here, in the order for right mouse properties on the print, you can see that's set to printing colour. And you should be able to see the tray somewhere. Uh, no, I don't know what it is. Tray one there. And you've got the second print properties. The spool cool is pause in this case, I can look at them. It's set to print as grayscale. And my new feed. Exactly what I want. And that's it, that's a good example of how to use it.